Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and uh, this is part of a video hub where we are all using the October kit by Create Smile. Before I go ahead and make my card, I'm going to quickly show you what's inside the kit. So first of all, it comes in this uh, nice plastic bag, which I really love. It's uh, so cute and uh, keeps everything organized. There is also a bag of uh, pretty pink post uh, sequins, as well as some thread. The stamp set that is included is Total Christmas with uh, gifts, reindeer and uh, a little Santa. And there is also a bag of these uh, chipboard die cuts. Now, al although these uh, look and feel like wood veneer, they are actually chipboard. And I am going to put them on my craft table so you can see what's inside this bag. Create a Smile is a European company, but uh, keep in mind that they have uh, really cheap uh, international uh, shipping costs in uh, less than $5. Now, the kit also comes with these uh, stickers, a die, a snowflake die, which is really beautiful, a um, stencil with snowflakes, and uh, it's packed with um, pattern papers. Now, the pattern papers have an A and a B side. At the B side, you can see different colors of uh, striped uh, basic uh, papers. And uh, the A side is the ones, the one with the main uh, pattern. So I am going to go through them quickly, and uh, I just need to note that uh, the quality of this pattern paper is really great because it's nice and thick, and you can uh, use it even as a card base. So for my card today, I have cut out a piece of this pattern paper to be slightly smaller than a standard card, and I am placing the snowflake on top. I am securing my die with uh, a piece of post-it tape and I am going uh, to run it through my Sizzix machine. There is a giveaway on uh, the Create a Smile uh, blog as well as on their Facebook page, so make sure to join and enter the giveaway. If you visit my blog, you will find links to all the appropriate uh, pages and to enter the giveaway and uh, you will also uh, find a full list of all the supplies that I am using today. I am going to stamp this cute uh, little Santa on uh, a piece of uh, watercolor paper and I am stamping it with archival link. I am doing so because archival link is uh, waterproof and it will not react with um, any watercolors uh, that I am using. These are the Zig watercolors and notice how I store them. Just because the cap doesn't have uh, a color, isn't color coded, I am storing them upside down. So this just makes my life easier and uh, I always know which uh, color I am uh, picking out. I am not going to do any shading, just basic coloring. And uh, the red uh, color that I am using perfectly matches the pattern paper that I have chosen from the kit. Of course, at this stage, you can use any of your favorite coloring mediums. It can be water coloring, uh, Copic markers, alcohol markers in general, or pencils or whatever you like. And you can do shading if you wish. I just prefer this uh, really cartoonish uh, look just because uh, my card is going to be clean and simple. So once my image is ready, I am going to take my time and cut it out with my scissors. The card I am creating today is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am going to cover it up with a piece of pattern paper. I have cut out the pattern paper to be the exact same size as my card base. I have used tape runner at the back, and now I am covering up my top folding card. There is a lovely sentiment in the kit that says uh, have you been nice which I am stamping it with Versa marking at the bottom of my panel and I am going to apply some uh, white embossing uh, powder. I am heat setting it with my heat gun and once that's uh, melted it is time to stick it on top of my card. Now to stick this on top of the card I, am, I want to have some dimension so I am going to use some foam tape at the back. I am going to be generous just because I don't want this to sink while it's in the mail. So once uh, that's there I am going to put some uh, foam tape at the back of uh, my Santa and I am going to stick him at the center of uh, that snowflake as if he is uh, looking through that hole. And once Santa is uh, there, you can call this card done. But just because this is a Christmas card, I just have to add some shimmer. So I am going to bring in my clear Wing of Stella glitter pen and I am going to go all over his um, red uh, areas. 
So that was the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of the card. Go to the next stop of this video hop by clicking on your screen right now. If you are watching from a mobile device, you will find the link just below in the description area. Thank you all for watching!